What's up guys, welcome back to RP Electronics. This is Ray again. So today I got the black version of the dual player pedal um, that I did a video on before. I finally got like about five of these in. I'll have them on my website for sale if anyone's interested, okay? Uh, these are brand new, they came new old stock, meaning that they were in a warehouse, they were never open, never sold. I paid a little bit more to get them in you know brand new condition. Uh, everything has been modded to work with an Arduino inside and it's a standalone pedal. I had some questions about this. I'm gonna answer it in the clearest way possible so there's no confusion, all right? So just a quick heads up, inside in the back there's a battery cover and uh, this battery cover is no longer used, obviously, because we're using USB, all right? So you could essentially uh, just put some dead batteries in here just for weight, just so it feels a little heavier and more premium and keeps it down. Otherwise, it's not necessary. All right, there's four rubber pads here to keep it from sliding around. That's it. Okay, so I wanna emphasize, this is a completely standalone pedal. All this does is send two keys. The left pedal sends the left key. The right pedal uh, sends the R key. Sorry, not the left key. The left pedal sends the L key. Right pedal sends the R key, all right? You can change this uh, in the GUI, but if that's the default I have it as, okay? And you'll notice it's a standalone USB pedal. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what happens when I plug it into my computer. Okay, and uh, oh, shout out to everybody who uh, donated to my coffee and uh, shot fund so that I can keep doing this at night. All right, so when I go to, let's say uh, the search bar, all right, I'm gonna zoom in on my PC screen now, all right? And what's gonna happen, you'll see, if I press the left, it's gonna type L. See, language settings popped up. And if I press R, it's uh, right, it's gonna give me an R. So it says LR, okay. Very simple, right? All right, so I had already done a tutorial before on how to set up a single pedal uh, to utilize your emulators and your games. But today, uh, since I have the screen in front of me, I know it's not perfectly clear. I'll probably do another one on this uh, with the screen capture, but just to show you what happens, LR, that's it, okay? So, this is actually using the Gun for IR GUI, and I have actually put the same Arduino inside, okay, and just because it's perfectly small and it works, and that means that you can essentially use the GUI to change the keys if you like, but I recommend you don't because it's relatively pointless, unless you're, you're doing some kind of a you know, weird bomb setup or you wanna use this for something other than games. So, in camera test, all right, because there is no gun, this is not just using the Arduino as, an, in, as a basic keyboard uh, encoder. If I press left, you'll notice the A button lights up. If I press right, the B button lights up, okay? So that means that in the input output section, all right, a is L, B is R. I know it's a little hard to see on the screen, but yeah, you can change this to whatever your heart desires. You can make it do right click, left click, tab, control, shift, whatever. But to keep my life simple, I have this one as L and R to represent left and right, okay? Now, in order to enjoy this, there's many, many ways to do this with many different emulators, but I'm gonna go through, and I've done this uh, tutorial before on, um, on MAME, and demo, but let's go to something like, let's go to MAME. I'm gonna go to my launch box, emulators, MAME. Okay, config. All you really have to do in the config default, all right, I'm gonna try to show you this as clear as I can. All I have done here, oops. See if I can zoom in a bit. Zoom. All right. In my buttons, player one, button one, which is trigger, all right, we don't touch because we don't need pedals for triggers unless you want to do that. Player two, button two is reload, okay? So I have added the line or key code L to my reload for button two. Okay, now if you're doing this as, since this is a dual pedal for one player, meaning two pedals, one man or girl, 
Ah, who are we kidding? <laughs> There's no girls buying this. I'm just kidding. But if you do, welcome. Uh, yes, you can add or key code R to button three as well, so that your button three can also act as uh, the tertiary button. So let's say L is reload, then button three, the right pedal, could also be like your weapons button or your bomb button, okay? That's how you do it on me. I have single pedals in mind, so I have R actually mapped um, to button two. So you have R here. But whatever you put basically will be the action that's taken in main, all right? So the biggest question I get on this is, for using demo shooter and for time crisis. All right, so let's go to my demo shooter. And this is a trick that not many people know. All right, so I need to plug my gun in first, otherwise demo shooter has a, is showing nothing. So I'm gonna plug my gun in. Okay, all right. So again, I'm sorry that the screen is not that fuzzy. I'm still shooting this on a simple iPhone, but you will notice that my Arduino, my uh, Gunfire IR, is my player one gun. Cool. So if I want to use the left pedal and the right pedal in this demo shooter setting, all I have to do is click enable virtual mouse button and assign the key I want to the button I want. So this will make the keyboard, any keyboard attached, regardless of pedal, keyboard, mouse board, whatever, do the right click or the left click. So the first one's actually a typo. The first one in demo shooter, it says middle mouse key. It's actually not middle, it's a left mouse key, meaning trigger. So we don't touch this. The middle key, all right, this is usually mapped to the bomb button or the switch weapon button in most games. And the right mouse key, this is the one that you want. This is the one that does reload. So I click this, I press my pedal, and now look, L. That means that pressing the left pedal will reload in all demo shooter games. Now, if you want it, you can click middle and press the right pedal and do R as well. Because in this case, you get two pedals for one player in every game, all right? So that's that's how you really utilize demo shooter. Press save config and I guarantee you when you play your games, the pedal's gonna work perfectly. All right? I'm not gonna save this because I usually use a single player pedal on uh, my arcade system and I don't wanna mess up my configs. Okay, so, the last one to explain a little clear, more clearly is Techno Parrot. Now, Techno Parrot, all right, the reason um, Techno Parrot is great is because it has light gun support built into the games directly. The reason uh, Techno Parrot is not great is that if you put it on raw, meaning uh, use light guns, you can only map your coin and start buttons to one button. So let's say I have a keyboard encoder and I wanna use the keyboard on my in front of my desktop and a keyboard in my arcade here, okay? In Techno Parrot, I can't do that. It's only one or the other. Let me give you an example. So let's say, uh, all right, the most utilized case for this dual pedal would be Too Spicy, okay? Because that wasn't originally a two pedal game. So let me show you what, it, what I mean. Too Spicy, I'm gonna go to controller setup. All right, so, Let's say you wanted to map your coin, okay, to, oopsie, sorry, my tripod getting a little shaky there. Let's say you wanted to map your coin to your keyboard's button, uh, what the heck is going on with my tripod? There we go. Map coin to keyboard button six, okay? If I press button six on my keyboard, it's gonna say, all right, 2.4 gigahertz mouse D6, all right, because my mouse and keyboard are like those cheap Amazon ones, okay? But that means if I press the key, the uh, coin key on my on my uh, arcade, it won't work, because that's mapped to an iPad. So if I press here and then press the coin on my arcade, it's gonna say Ultimark iPad button one, all right? So it's one or the other, you really don't get a choice of, um, of a, of a universal thing, all right? So same goes with the pedals. If I press pedal left to my left pedal here, all right, it's gonna say Arduino uh, Gun for IR3, because I have it um, mapped to player three, L. And then pedal right, press this, it'll do Arduino Gun for IR uh, Pro Micro R, okay? 
but that means that my guns buttons, if you happen to have like a four button gun, my guns front left and front right buttons can no longer take over the pedal function as well. So in other words, in Technoparrot, you have to pick only one device to do one function, all right? It's good and bad. So in this case, I can use um, my gun to do reload, trigger, and maybe if I have a third button, I can do start as well on the gun directly or coin, all right? But yeah, I just wanted to clarify, this shows up as a completely individual third party item, okay? So that's how Too Spicy works. And also there is a thing in a techno pad that after you click a button, you're kind of locked into this uh, this like window. You, I can't move my mouse past this point anymore. All you have to do is just grab the blue area, just jiggle around a little bit and you're free. Okay, Whee! all right, that's how techno parrot works. Okay, and that's pretty much the main use scenarios uh, for this one. In terms of uh, Time Crisis 5, uh, if you used my download of Time Crisis 5, okay, you'll remember that I actually did a auto hotkey script because Time Crisis 5 does not allow you to pick the buttons unless you use jconfig, and jconfig is uh, really, really not cool. I'm sorry my tripod keeps uh, sagging. I don't know why. It's probably because this is a $10 tripod or so. But I am gonna try to show you my script real, real quick. All right, this video is getting a little bit long, but all right, Time Crisis 5, TC5, Binaries, Win64. All right, here's my script. I have 4K, light guns, edit. So Time Crisis is pretty much the only one that I really used um, scripts to map uh, the pedals because Time Crisis does not work uh, using the standard demo shooter thing, okay? So in this case, I have, I wrote it very clearly, dodge left, I can, is actually T in time crisis. So I know you can do this in the default input um, file, but I wanted to do it this way because I wanted to map more than three buttons to left. So in this case, pressing left here, okay, on the left arrow key on the keyboard, will do dodge left. Pressing L, meaning pedal L, will dodge left, pressing the, right click on a gun, meaning the front left button on a gun con usually, will do dodge left. And for dodge right, it was originally mapped to Y in the game, so I did right D-pad, right pedal, so pressing right pedal, and middle click, which is the right button on a gun con, all right, will dodge right, and that's it. This is the only game where auto hotkey kind of gets involved because I don't have any like friendly way to map the buttons, and I wanted to do duplicate buttons because, hey, I wanted to use every gun I had without a problem, with or without pedals, okay? All right, uh, that seems to be about it. Uh, I can't think of any other emulators that really, um... oh, the only other one that I, I'm not gonna get too much into because it's one of the more complicated ones to set up uh, due to the use of the new VUSB plugin, but it is PlayStation 2. <laughs> All right, so if you go to PC XS2, config, USB, uh, sorry, uh, controllers, plugin settings. Really, th this one gets, a, this one is uh, not too hard. You go to pad one, and all you do is uh, you click the, do, 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 do. what was it? Ah, the right shoulder button, R1 over here, and map it, and click this, and it'll say, please enter an input, and just press the button. So I press L, and it's there, okay? it's. I already have it here, pressing left does the right shoulder button, which in almost every PlayStation game is reload, press apply, and that's it, okay? I'm not gonna go into the whole new VUSB plugin and the scripts that I use to make every game work, because there's a lot of them, but that in case you just wanna get right started, that's what it is. That means pressing this, but this pedal will trigger the right shoulder button on a PlayStation um, emulated controller, which does reload in uh, all of the PlayStation 2 games for the most part, okay? That's it. All right, so if you guys have any questions, you want one of these, shoot me a message. My contact is always in the description below. I take care of everything myself. You're free to email, text, or Facebook me at any time. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
And as always, thanks for the donations. If you make a donation of $10 or above, you can ask for the next video, uh, whatever subject you want. You can, you can ask for a game to be set up or you can ask to see some of my cool toys. All right, we'll have currently due to the fact, that, um, due to the extremely hot weather, COVID and all the other conditions, uh, the gun for IR camera module is out of stock pretty much worldwide, all right? And um, it won't be back in stock for until August first week-ish of 2021, all right? Because the heat is basically causing high electrical usage due to air conditioners, which is limiting factory production rates uh, because they use a lot more electricity than the normal household does, which is why everything is slowed down. So just expect some um, cost increases for the next year or so. I do a karaoke business uh, on for my full time and yeah, all hard drives and all electrical computer-like components, just like graphics cards are spiking. Alrighty, other than that, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.